This year got off to a good start for new and unknown wearable brands at CES, and they far outshone the slim pickings from established brands such as Fossil and Samsung when it came to innovation. Blocks showed off the first modular smartwatch that comes with a core module which can be customised with extra features using clip-on modules. These can add GPS functionality, heart rate tracking and even extra battery charging or gesture control. Micronos showcased the Z-Time Petite Hybrid Smartwatch, which combines the style of a traditional watch with smart functionality. Micronos claims you'll get three days of battery life when using it as a smartwatch, or 30 days running it as a regular analog watch. There was also a new launch from Finnish brand Sunto, which has already found a following among serious athletes. This surprisingly lightweight activity tracker has a built-in heart rate monitor and will create seven-day training plans that use your fitness level and exercise history as a base. Launches from big brands were thin on the ground this year. Garmin announced the Forerunner 645 Music, which is the first Garmin fitness watch to feature integrated music. Fossil had an impressive display of their existing wearable lineup, including the new, practical and pretty Kate Spade New York Scallop smartwatch. Disappointingly, there were no new wearable products announced by Nokia or Samsung, but both did make incremental updates to existing devices. For the fashion-conscious user, the Nokia Steel HR is now available to buy in rose gold. Or, if you want to control your Samsung smart home from your wrist, the good news is that SmartThings functionality will soon be rolled out to the gear range of wearables. For all of our wearable reviews, and to see the TVs, laptops and cars we've seen at CES, head to witch.co.uk.